Ryan Hub. Welcome to another episode of our series on how to use GeoGebra in teaching mathematics, statistics, and other related fields. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how we can save our uh, file as a GGB file, as an image, or as an applet so that we can share them to our students or to any other people. We want to save our uh, GeoGebra file as a GGB file so that we can edit it later, we can modify it. We, we also want to save them as an image, especially if we are preparing for a material and we want the image. And of course, uh, we want to save our uh, GeoGebra file as an applet so that we can share them to our students access our output in JGebra. but before we proceed to those things that i have mentioned uh, make sure that you have a JGebra account so it's really easy to make one if you do not have one don't worry i'm going to uh, show you how let us open any browser and uh, type JGebra we want this one let's click up downloads GeoGebra, and uh, it will give us this uh this website of uh, GeoGebra. notice in the upper right corner of our screen we have sign in let's click that one if we have an account already we can uh, directly uh, put our username and password but of course if we do not have yet an account we have to create it so let's click create an account although i have my account already so you have to fill out uh, this information uh, on your email you have to choose a username and then a strong password it will confirm your password and then uh, you have to uh, acknowledge that you are over 14 years old and then create an account once you click this one uh jgebra will send an email uh to confirm uh you you will have to uh, uh click the link that will be sent to you by jgebra so anyway i will not be clicking this one because i have already an account uh, let me sign in so that you would know how uh, JGebra account looks like so this is my account so these are the different apps this is home the resources and then your profile you can edit your profile here so anyway uh, this is just a prerequisite of our demonstration today let's go back to our a JGebra and learn how to save them as a GGB, an image, and an applet. Let me grab a, a JGebra file. I did this. Actually, this is the, the output that we did the last uh, video. So these are uh, trigonometric functions integrating the sliders. So these are functions that uses uh, different sliders. These are the general forms of our three uh, trigonometric functions, namely the sine, the cosine, and the tangent function. It's using four sliders, A, B, C, and D. So suppose this is our output, and what we want is to save this one as a GGB file. Again, we want to do that so that we can simply go back and edit if we want to do that so uh, we can do that by going to our menu and then we choose file and then save it or we can download as we click uh, download as and then we uh, choose jgebra file ggb so this is the extension this is what we want if we want to save it as a jgebra file if we want to save it as an image uh, we have two options. We have uh, .png, that's the file type, and .svg. We can also actually save it as a PDF file. 
Uh, let's go ahead and save it as a GGV. Let's click this one. Uh, we can name it whatever we want to name it. Let's name it as trigonometric functions. So we save it. And then it will ask us the location where we want to save it. I just want to save it in my desktop. So we have, I have it in my desktop, this one. So I can click this one if ever I want to change something in my original output. We do not just directly save them as an image because we cannot anymore edit. If we... What if we want to save this one as an image? Again, let's click menu, file, and then download us a PNG file. So it will save it as an image. We can rename our uh, picture, our image, maybe as sign graph. Export and then save it anywhere in your computer. So I choose, uh, what's this, desktop, save. And then we are actually done. Let us check that uh, file in our desktop. So let me bring it to my desktop. It's here. Let's click this one it will give us an image so this is a png file exactly as what is graphed in our graphic view let us go back to our uh, jgebra file and learn how to uh, save our output as an applet what is an applet an applet is just a uh, uploaded version of our work if we upload our work uh, this means that we can share them to our students, it will be uploaded to our uh, JGebra account. If students uh, access an applet, they can uh, manipulate uh, the applet uh, as much as uh, we can uh, manipulate them. So they can slide uh, our sliders, they can zoom in, zoom out, and other things that we can do with a JGebra applet. Just a, a reminder when we uh, save a JGebra file as an applet, uh, we have to make sure that everything that we want to be saved in our applet is visible in our window. So for example, if we want the sliders to appear in our graphic view, we have to make sure that they are seen. If we do not want that, then we can actually hide them. So for now, I'm going to hide them because I will let my students uh, manipulate them in our input uh, bar or I mean the algebra view so that's it if we want if we are ready to save this as an applet we can now proceed to menu and then save we will have to uh, give a name so maybe I want to name this one as graph of trigonometric functions so once we are done, we uh, choose shared, not private, and then save. Well, this is automatically saved because I have already used this one in the past. So if you are a new user of JGebra and uh, you just made your account, uh, it will not be as direct as that. So it will ask you to uh, provide your GeoGebra account. So it will ask your username or email and then your password before you could uh, share it like I did. So that process was skipped because I have uh, done it before and my my computer actually remembered my, uh, my email. So it didn't ask me uh, anymore. But for you, it might uh, ask your account so anyway just to check what is saved in my uh, jgebra account i'm going to access that one so i will uh, go to my what is that my jgebra account here so if you are not signed in you have to sign in i am already here so under let me refresh this one under uh profiles i can see here a file this is what I just saved a while back this is what we mean by an applet so we can click this one let's see what uh, it looks like so this is what we mean by an applet this we can share so the students can uh, click this one 
I mean, uh, manipulate our applet so they can manipulate the sliders. They can uh, actually change our uh, function from sine or to cosine or to tangent because we made it available a while back. If we want them to uh, not manipulate our algebra view, then uh, we, we can uh, do that by first setting our original GeoGebra file. But anyway, uh, we can share our applet using uh, the link so we can access the link here. So where is that link? We can click first share and then copy the link here. This we can send our students. If we uh, put that in our URL, that link, it will uh, direct us with the same applet. Let me give you another uh, example, but this time, let us remove uh, this part, the algebra view, so that students can only see the graphic view and then manipulate the sliders. That's all that we uh, give our students and then specify what function they can manipulate. So let me unhide our sliders and then let us erase our algebra view by clicking menu, view, and then let's uncheck algebra view so that we can only see our graphics view. So again, before we save, make sure that you are uh, ready. We can organize our work here. So this is what we want our uh, students to see. Let us save this one. So save. We go to file and then save it as this is not anymore the graph of the three trigonometric function, but this is the graph of a specific one, the sine function. So graph of uh, sine functions shared and then save. So again, it automatically uh, saved in my uh, GeoGebra account because it was linked previously. Let us go back to my uh, GeoGebra account and check that one. So here's my account. Let me refresh it first. All right, there we have it. Graph of sine function. If we click this one, all we can see is our graphic view. We do not have any more our algebra view and we can only manipulate the four sliders. So that's it. That's how we can uh, create an applet uh, that is uh, ready to be shared to our students. Thank you for listening.